Shalom, shalom, Israel. Go to warriorsoftheruach.com to get all the truth, facts, and evidence according to Abba Yahuwah's word, which is in the Hebrew. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and become a member so that we can continue to bring all of Abba Yahuwah's word. So, without further ado, let's get it. Just take a step back and let's look at what the, what the Christian New Testament teaches its followers to do. So let's start there because people want to say again, are we looking at the Old Testament under a microscope and such scrutiny as we uh, do with this Christian New Testament? Well, we know facts down, all the evidence points to the fact that the Christian New Testament is based off of the Hebrew script, the Hebrew Torah. That's what it is. You can't get around that fact, right? So Christianity, the religion of Christianity, makes a bold claim saying that their book is a fulfillment of things in the Old Testament. So let's just look at some, uh, a couple of you know, New Testament scriptures and see what that's about and see what they're saying that we do when it comes to this subject of doing research, right? And looking into things. So real quick, I'm just going to bring up the Blue Letter Bible, and I'm going to bring up a very, very familiar scripture, uh, which is 2 Timothy 2.15. And let me just bring that up on the Blue Letter Bible here. <clears throat> okay, 2 Timothy 2.15, it says, now, and real quick, we know that this is Apostle Paul. This is his writing, okay? So we'll lay that as a foundation. 2 Timothy 2.15, study to shew thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Now, we know in this time, we know that Apostle Paul is referencing the Hebrew Old Testament. So the Hebrew Torah, there was no New Testament scriptures, nothing like that. He is talking about study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. And what he is talking about is the Hebrew scriptures, okay? So Paul, very loved by many Christians. I used to, you know, um, follow Paul. Now that I understand in, my, in, the, in the, the filter or the blinders of Christianity has been removed and I see it what it is and I don't follow the writings of Paul anymore. He's telling the Christians to go and look at that old Testament script. That's what he's talking about here, to study and show thyself approved, you know, the word of truth. What I want to bring to light is that even these giants of Christianity, as people say, right, they're telling you to go back and study that Hebrew first, get an understanding on the Hebrew first, you know, and then from there you take it and you, you know, move forward, right? So the point is, he is also telling you to go back to the Hebrew, okay? So I'm just laying that foundation down really quick before I move on. So just keep that in mind. The next scripture we'll take a look at is John, and that's uh, chapter 20, verse 31, okay? Um, and again, I'm reading this in the, uh, the Blue Letter Bible, just so that people understand and know. But it says here, but these are written that ye may believe that Jesus is Christ, the Son of God, and that believing ye might have life through his name. So right here it's telling us that the reason that this Christian New Testament is written is so that ye may believe that Jesus Christ, you know, is, is the Son of God, and that believing ye may have life through his name. So Right here, they're telling you the whole purpose of why they're even creating this Christian New Testament is to make people believe in this Jesus Christ, in this Christian New Testament Messiah. So it, it's pretty serious. And again, and right here in the Blue Letter Bible, it's telling us, you know, 
why this gospel was written, why the gospel of John was, was written, right? And to go further, why the even Christian New Testament was even written, it's because to make people basically become Christians and believe in Jesus Christ. You keep saying truth, truth. But it's only a truth according to you. If it were the only truth, everyone would believe it. Not so. Christ, who is truth, rose from the dead. Many still do not believe. Lies, fabrications. If Christ had not risen from the dead, then our preaching is useless. And so is our faith. Thank you.